So before we get into today's episode, I have an update on the channel situation. We've recorded a pretty long video talking about what we're going to do with it and how we're going to try and keep it alive. There's a video about that up on the second channel. And also, we put a Patreon page live at the request of pretty much everybody who uh, who watched that other channel update video. So that is available in the description. Take a read through that. Tell me what you think. I'm looking for feedback primarily on it right now. Uh, let me know how that looks and uh, we might go with that. Welcome back to CK2, The Mad World. Last episode, I deleted an entire episode. And now I have to try and work out what happened between this one and the last one. So, essentially what I'm looking at doing right now is that we've we've obviously become, you know, Norse. We've got this really cool Lycan Empire. The thing I'm looking at doing now is actually reforming the Nordic faith. So this is a feature added by CK2+, which essentially allows you to, funnily enough, reform the faith, similar to the base game. But the Nordic faith has some unique things, because CK2 does a lot with the, uh, with the custom religions. So, we want to grab... Pretty much all five of the holy sites, unfortunately. Now, we already have two, but they are under Catholic... I think this guy's Orthodox, actually. Yeah, for some reason, this guy's Orthodox. But we have two of the holy sites. We've got to replace them with Nord vassals. Or Nord temple holders, I guess. We've also got to grab up these other three holy sites, which is going to be really difficult, because I believe two of these are actually in... Okay, this one's in Denmark, so that one's not too bad. This one's in the HRE, though, isn't it? Yeah. Paderborn there. That's going to be difficult to get. What about this one? Holla? Oh, right, okay, that's up in Iceland. Now... This is the only thing that's really changed since uh, last episode and the mysterious missing episode that's disappeared forever. So, um, essentially I grabbed up some parts of Sweden, which I don't think we had last episode, specifically these two provinces. One of which is obviously the uh, the holy site in Upland. Uh, this one here, actually. So we've got to kill off this vassal, or get rid of him, or find a way to replace him with a Norse vassal. Uh, once we've done that, we're looking at getting 50% moral authority so that we can obviously reform the religion. That's what we need. And we need at least three holy sites. So we could grab three holy sites and do a lot of holy walls, things like that. But unfortunately, because the AI is shit, um, <laughs> they've pretty much lost us a load of uh, moral authority anyway. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us, more or less. So I think, what we're doing right now then, I think I've got this guy up in Iceland. So I'm going to try and grab Iceland, or at least all of the Icelandic provinces, in one war, as I was doing with Sweden. Now, I think we have a claim on Nordlending already. Let me just double check. Um, Ostriding? Oh, that's that's that one. Nordlending. Okay, we might have more than I thought. Nordlending, Gastritland. So, we just need these two. We need Sunlending and uh, Nordlending. Or Vestfreeding. Either way. Once we get those two, we can declare war on Iceland. Make some new vassals under that. And that will obviously let us go up to probably about 10%. If we kill off these two, we'll go immediately up to 30% moral authority there. So, I think it's going to be a case of grabbing all the holy sites. Let's let some time take. So, what's actually happened? Um, we can hold a blot in between March and November. That'll be the first blot we've ever held, I think. Now, we can't make runestones. I said when we reformed that we might be able to make some runestones. Unfortunately, that's not true because you stopped being able to make runestones after like 1000 AD. And another thing I did that I completely forgot to mention was I've grabbed up the both of the, uh, the Shetland and the Faroe Islands here, which are under Nord Nordia, I think is how you say that. So, why don't we go ahead and create that and give it away... Um, who would like this? Anybody? Well, I guess I could find someone now. Search around. Let's go for stewardship, and I'm sure I've got a filter save. Yeah, we do. Good. We give it to my son, Rhino. That's not a bad idea. Um, might as well get him some experience. Now, why don't we marry him off before we do that? Because I don't want him to marry some randomer, because he would be really, really bad. And obviously, this guy is our heir. We might even play as in this episode, seeing as we are... Oh, we're 87, but we're immortal, aren't we? Yeah, no, I remember now. We can always abdicate, assuming we don't have ambitious, if we don't have, uh... What do we need to abdicate. I'll have to look into that, but I don't remember off the top of my head. We obviously don't want to play Rhino when he's really, really old. Uh, that would be a real big shame. We could always try and get depressed and uh, throw ourselves off a building or something. I don't know if that would actually kill us, seeing as we're a demigod werewolf, but there we go. Why don't we land, or marry off Rhino and land him at the same time? What have we got here? Nothing particularly good. Uh, she's 61, so I don't even know why I'm looking at that. Right, let's go ahead and find him a wife. Ideally, demigod. I think, I ideally, getting another god married into it. Would be uh, would be the ultimate scenario here. Otherwise, if you marry off a demigod and a human, they just get blood of the gods. Whereas a demigod plus a god seems to just still be demigod, right? Um, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. Balder Hastin's son is my uncle. This one's my cousin. Um, she's 54, though. I don't know if that affects things. So what we want to do is we want to check, like, uh, Balder's great-great-grandchildren. So let's take a look. So there's that one. Um, now, fortunately... Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let's take a look at, uh, what about Sif Blood Axe? Has she got any? No, I don't think she counts as a... Oh my god, she's... <laughs> she's also Balder's sister. Right, he married his own sister, that makes sense. Okay, um... 
what are we going to do here then? We need to find a man, preferably right down the family tree, who's... She might do? She's no relation to Balder, who is obviously the current king of Astar. She's also a genius. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, wait. Demigod? Oh, shit. Okay. She's already a demigod. That sucks. Right. Um, let's go find someone else then. This could take a while. Aha, there we go. Found one. So this is Linda, Ulfa's daughter, apparently. She's some, I assume, so my uncle's daughter. So she's my cousin. Uh, he will actually allow us to marry her off to our son. Now, she's a really good character as well. She's a pure-blooded god, obviously. Uh, shrewd, quick, strong. She's got a really good set of traits here. So let's go ahead and marry her off to Rhino. There we go. All right, problem solved. Do we want to keep Rhino at court, though, is the real question. Or do we actually want to land him off? Um, I don't know. Maybe I want to keep this guy at court and actually land our, one of our other sons here. So who else have we got? We've got Dechungus. Who's not too bad. Now, let's try and find him a marriage as well to a god. And try and keep gods in the family tree. Um, look for pure-blooded gods. What about Hala? She could do. Arrange marriage between Hala and Dechungus. They say yes. Awesome. Right. Let's get that done. Just marry enough all of our sons to gods here. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay. And then we'll land Dechungus instead. So that we're keeping the other one. Or our, our heir close to hand. Uh, what do you want? Orkney? Yeah, there we go. Duke Dechungus of Orkney and his god-wife... Hala Erstein's daughter of House Aesir. That seems pretty cool. Right, how long until we've got Iceland? Now, we've already got troops there. This is something I did last time in the in the last episode. We've got a retinue sat there ready to just dive in whenever we declare war. And we've only got to get two more provinces. So we might as well wait for those to tick and go through. Um, what else do we need? So we need this central province here in Denmark. Now, I'm sure we can just holy war for that. Might be a bit risky seeing as, you know, the HRA is right there and they'll probably join a holy war against us. What can we do? Claim Holland. Where is this one? Oh, that's part of our... Oh, that's where we got claim, and I remember, before Poland stole it all from Sweden. Uh, we could conquest them. Now, conquest increases moral authority by 1%. So if we conquest uh, Shelland here, that would make the most sense. Because not only will we get the Holy Site, we'll also get some war score. Uh, that would be good. Oh, not, not only will we get the Holy Site, but we'll get moral authority from from that battle. What is this? Crown? The crown trade looks weird. Weird. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm sure we've got more than enough men. 31,000 men versus our 68,000. Yeah. Even with our retinues kicking over in Iceland, we still should be fine. Let's go and grab this. Now, I'd like to get this reformed by the end of this episode. I don't think it's going to happen. Though. That's going to be a lot of work. We'd also have to get really lucky with declaring war on the HRE. We'd have to wait for them. Oh, wait. They're, they're fighting the Aztecs right now. How many men do the Aztecs have? 53,000 men. He's in hiding. Um, Kaiser Simon is on a pilgrimage, but he's got 70,000 men. If the Aztecs kill off enough of their men there, we might actually want to move in and take uh, Paderborn, wherever it's gone. Uh, this one here. Yeah. We'd need a claim on that, though, for my knowledge. Otherwise, we'd have to declare a whole holy war. I don't particularly want to do that. We could always try and kill him off, cause some, you know, like, uh, destabilize the realm a little bit. Let's go ahead and place a bounty on him, see if they actually do anything. We could always try and kill him off. 58% plot power. Let's try that as well. Now, he's not a court right now, which is going to make this a little bit difficult. Kaiser and Emma, his wife wants him dead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Ernst, the Duke of Ancona. Let's bribe him. If we were reformed, this would be a lot easier. But obviously, if we were reformed, we probably wouldn't be declaring war on the HRE anyway. Um, all right, let's go ahead. And all of our troops are moving down to... We probably want to move them somewhere where we've got decent supply, I guess. Uh, 53,000 there in Vastor Gotland. So let's move them there. All right, awesome. Sorry, they... The Pope joined a pact against the HRE. Weird. What have they been up to then? Look at that. They've got they must have shit tons of threat. 22%. That's actually not that much. How much is our threat right now? 48. Oh god. Okay, I've got to be really careful then. The assassins are destroyed. The Hashishina no more as their fortresses and mountain hideouts burn. The last members of the once feared assassin order are hunted down like animals. Weird. Okay. I don't know why that is, seeing how strong Islam is right now in the world. If we go to the religions map mode here, look at that. It's like they're pretty much everywhere besides this sort of uh, central area of Europe. And even us declaring war against, you know, the, the, the Catholics is going to make that a lot easier for them to, uh... Well, it's going to reduce their moral authority, obviously. Alright, what have we got then? Idle council members, what can we do with you? Um... Proselytize is probably not a bad idea. I assume we... Yeah, we did miss a couple of provinces, didn't we? Uh, let's go ahead and... That one's Old Yotnar. That's really cool. Well, we're going to take out the Catholic one to start off with. When that province becomes Catholic, and when the ruler is Catholic, when we kill off the actual owner of this temple here, a new Norse one was born instead. In fact, I think they'll do that anyway, because I believe they take the religion from their liege. I don't really remember. 
But um, we might just be able to kill him off now. Why can't I kill him off? Have I tried to plot and it failed? Maybe. Certainly looks like it. He's a wicked priest, so chances are we'd be able to kill him off very easily anyway. Right, so we've got some... <laughs> we've got some more boats. More land boats there. A member of the trade guild approaches you and tells you he's ready to buy a specific product. Caravan for 733 gold. Sure, sold. Now, what society are we part of right now? We want to do the Magnum Opus, but unfortunately we can't do that unless we're reformed. And we're not actually part of any of them. We want to join the Yom's Vikings, right? Uh, what do we need for that? That was, um... Zealous. Yeah, we just need Zealous. So I assume I've still taken the... Yeah, I've taken the theology focus. Again, I don't think this was last episode. Or the last episode you guys saw, but the lost episode. So, once we join the Yom's Vikings, I'm really excited to see what we can actually do with that. That'd be really cool. Seems pretty appropriate well as, as well, seeing as we're going to become the Filker. Which is the leader of the reformed Norse faith. Alright, yep. Yeah. Somebody the Potbelly? I don't even know who that is. We may have to drop some troops off in Poland itself. Where's the capital here? Down a major river, which is good news for us in Krakow. Makes sense. Alright, I might even send this stack of troops actually round to Krakow. So why don't we get them merged together, just in case they come across a pretty large army. Concubine? When do we get a concubine? I suppose we're not married. I, it can't hurt, I guess. We're not on gavel kind, are we? No, we are on primo. Okay, weird. Uh, sure, why don't we take some concubines then? Maybe we could take some god concubines. Oh, you know what? That's something to do for our next character. Let's not waste them on our guy. Let's uh, take a bunch of gods as our concubines with our next character there. Alright, let's get these guys just siege down very quickly. I'm going to attack this one because it's a pretty decent... Uh, it's a pretty decent holding to siege down because they've got so many holdings it will give us a decent amount of war score. Sacrifice them to Odin. Alright, two days. Come on, game. Wake up. There we go. Awesome. I'm quite surprised we haven't got any claims on Iceland during this time. We seem to have been playing quite a while. Seeing as it's... Is it still 100% yearly? Oh, right. Our Chancellor's gone. That would explain it. The Chungus? Yeah, I trust the Chungus. Plus, he really, really likes us, so he would be a loyalist as well. Um, sacrifices to Odin, the usual. Now, the downside to that is... Um, Obviously, we're, we're running the risk of not grabbing prisoners, which will make the war take longer. But, you know, I don't want to annoy our our loyal Norse warriors there, especially since we've only just converted them. So, let's go ahead and grab... Uh, which one didn't we have? I don't think we had this one. Vestrading. Uh, Edmark. That's not right. Osrading, Nordlending. Yeah, so we still need these two. Right, good. All right. News of unrest in Arkashus. The seer of Lombardy has been trying to root out heresy and convert the population. The peasants have been resisting... And arming themselves? Is that not good for us? The seer of Lombardy. So Lombardy is trying to convert our provinces. Oh my god. Apparently a lot as well. Weird. So I assume that just increases revolt risk if they don't want to convert the religion? That seems a bit odd. I think that would be good news for us surely if they don't want to become Catholic. Either way. Let's go ahead and uh, burn this down. Uh, he's not really worth anything. I would keep the third, you know, dukes or counts. Definitely worth keeping because they'd be worth a bit more war score. Well, we didn't even siege the province we wanted. We already won. Weird. Okay, problem solved then. Now, in theory, because this was a conquest, we got everything. This is awesome. Right, so we can go like this and that will be, boom, 12 moral authority. There we go because we control that temple. Sweet. I'm doing this as well. It's going to make them like in culture. So this is win-win all around, really. We got tribe there. We should probably dismantle that and build a new one. Why can't we do that? Um, there we go. Right. No, we still can't do it. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll just make a new vassal for it. And we'll probably give this land away anyway. We probably want to even holy war for South Sweden here. I know I said that might be a bad idea because of the, uh, the HRE will be able to get involved. But I think we could probably win it before they even turn up. Might be risky, but we'll give it a go. Now, we, why don't we take Gotland as well? Oh, right. They're under Carpathia. Um, how many men have they got? 40,000 men. Seems a bit risky. We could Holy War Finland. Now, as they're the only Suomenesco or Finnic uh, provinces, that would be a very easy Holy War. If we did that, it would give us plus 3% moral authority. Doesn't seem much, but it will add up. We could subjugate the whole thing, though. Now, I prefer to Holy War it bit by bit, so we'll take these two. Grab Cola. Obviously, grab uh, Livonia. Is that supposed to be there? I don't think so. There's also the Teutonic Order kicking around there in uh, the sort of part of Russia here, or part of Finland at this stage. Weird. Okay. Why don't we then do that holy war? Try and get our moral authority up as much as possible. If anybody knows very quick methods of increasing moral authority beyond doing this, then uh, definitely let me know. This is pretty much my go-to method anyway. Why have they got this? Cola. Why don't we holy war for that as well? They're Catholic though. Oh, that's a problem. 
Could conquest them. Oh, right. We've already been to war with this dude before. Who are we currently plotting against? The HRE, isn't it? So I don't mind actually switching over to kill off this dude first. Just because he's making our borders look really, really ugly there. Um, send an assassin after him? Sure. My involvement remains unknown. Sure, that's fine. Let's go and take these special interests so we can use them as soon as possible. I guess one of my vassals must have declared war on them. Hulsingland? Yeah, they have. So we've already got 48% war score, even though we've done nothing here. Well, that's pretty useful. What do we raise the troops? And actually put them on boats this time. That should make things a little bit easier. Right, let's go ahead and embark armies. There we go. Awesome. Right. And let's get you guys straight over to here. Everyone else can just walk over there manually. We could even, seeing as we're going to be doing a lot of holy wars around sort of the Finnish peninsula here, is probably go ahead and set a rally point, not in our capital, but instead, uh, maybe over here. Probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, young Gertrude seems to trust everyone. She can only be herself. Now, what society do you want to join in the meantime? I think we could join the children of Mustport, can't we? No, we can't. We, oh, we just don't have the vices or anything like that. Right, fair enough. We could join the assassins, even though I'm pretty sure they were destroyed. The, obviously, the trade league. It might take us longer than I thought to actually get to join the Yom's Vikings. So let's go ahead and become a trader for a while. Now, what this means is we can actually smith those weapons, armor, artifacts that I'm, I've am i been trying to search for a smith for for ages without realizing that it's actually part of this. So if we go ahead and show our decisions here, we can do pretty much nothing yet. Must Oh, you have to have the quest before you can build a warehouse. You know, I never noticed that in the... You know, dozens of times I've done it in the Game of Thrones one. Sure. We will wait for get some missions out of that. We might as well get something out of this rather than uh, just sitting around waiting to get zealous. And the amount of holy wars you're doing, we'd imagine we'd be zealous already. Oh, really? We only have 402 men on those boats? That seems a bit lazy. Right. We use the boats as a sort of, uh, you know, like a, like a hopping over point. Oh my god, how much? The Aldum of Iceland, the whole thing. 5,600 gold. Oh, shit. Um... Should we, should we risk it? Let's try it. Come on. Alchemy, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's cancelled out some of it. If we'll take a loan, destroy the Eternal Flame. What? Search for a way to destroy the Eternal Flame in Shalland. Th is that not the Draconic Religion thing? Weird. Okay, we'll tick that because that sounds pretty cool. Try and piss off some dragons, I guess. Sure, why not? So we don't want to take a loan. We want to take the, uh, the thousand gold there. Probably also want to borrow that much from Moneylenders. And we can get those paid off as soon as possible with our alchemy, obviously, because we are uh, seem pretty good at that right now. That seems to have paid off quite well at this stage. All right, let's move you guys south. I think our vassal is just basically going to win this war for us. Oh, we had a daughter. Blood of the Gods, because she's human and obviously we're a demigod. She came out really well, though. Look at this. The line of Rhino, Blood of the Gods, quick. Sickly, which is a little bit of a shame, but... Uh... Right, what was our mission there? Oh, no, God, we don't want to spend any more. Thank you. Uh, build a warehouse. Awesome. Right, well, before we do that, obviously, we want to get a bit more alchemy going. Uh, why don't we go ahead and move our Chancellor over to the next holy site we want to grab. So what have we got right now? We've got this one. We've got this one. Where is Holar? Right, that's the one we've got. So the only one left is the one in the HRE. We might just be able to win this if it's, if it's for a single province. We must attempt to save my Danilla. Thank you. All right, let's move him to game, please. Oh, have I still got it on monthly auto saves? That might have been my mistake. Oh, God. Princess Danilla was unsuccessful. She's a god. She'll survive that. There we go. Right. Pay to born. And what have we got? Destroy the Eternal Flame. I'm going to attempt some alchemy first, and then we'll see what that does. Awesome. Right. We can pay off a loan, at least. Let's repay that one. And then... Has a personal worth of... Oh, 350 per go. Shit. I forgot it was that much. All right. Well, let, let's deal with this Holy War first. Then, once we've done with this, we can move into Iceland. Grab that next Holy Site. We really want to bring back our retinues here so they can take this out. You know, we can chain wars together rather than constantly raising troops, lowering troops, bringing them over. Make the whole thing a lot easier. Let's get those together. And that should be that. 83% war score. Where's the capital? Oh, right. We've already taken the capital. I guess we'll just go take anything at this stage then. Peace. Uh, we surrender under these terms. Thank you very much. Awesome. Nice. Hey, our name's bigger now. Thank God for that. All we've got to do is kick out Cola next and... Uh, we can have the world's biggest name. I don't think that's true. I imagine Kapath is. Yeah, Kapath is pretty big. Obviously, Seljuk. He's our biggest competitor for, uh, you know, the largest name situation. Let's go ahead and put those down. Right, wrong type of holding in domain. Kemi tribe. Let's go ahead and give that away then. Osterbottom, do we not have a... No, we don't have any vassal with that right now. Low filter one. And what on earth is that? Luciferian. 
Demon? Where's your face, Barbatos Geary? Demon. An unclean spirit of a being has fallen from grace. They delight in tempting the mortals into eternal damnation. Holy shit. That'd be cool to play as, but I assume you can't play as these either, seeing as they have, you know, next to no fertility there. Luciferian, other religions. They actually have a lot of, uh... The Luciferian church may be held by a secular non-theocracy ruler. Holy shit, they've done a lot of work in these sort of random religions that we're really not seeing very much. Alright, um, search around. And we want my religion, my culture. And we'll find anybody with... On the, oh, our son, Rhino? I don't really want to do that, to be honest with you. Are these really the only members of our religion and culture, right? I guess we'll invite a steward in that case. Uh, invite a steward to court. Obviously, stewards give a slightly higher chance of converting the provinces here. Uh, Yaldum of Osterbottom. There we go. Sweet. Okay, problem solved. Right, let's deal with Iceland now. Get our next holy site. Uh, sorry? Have I still got troops raised? Oh, I do. My mistake. A lot of those. And we've got our retinues ready to go. Why don't we lead some troops ourselves here, seeing as we are... Pretty, pretty OP, I would say, at this stage. 40? My son's wife has 40 marshal. Holy shit. Okay, Biagio and Rhino. What a lineup. We've got Biagio, the immortal Lombard. 240? Hang on, the game hasn't even been going that long. Huh. Okay, we've got an immortal and two gods there, so this would be pretty good. Press all claims. Now, I'm going to assume they don't have 10,000 men. No, they really don't. So we're going to have to boat bomb into this one. We'll siege it and, you know, actually have somewhere to dock and put down our boats. Prince Bishopric of Paderborn for 2,800 gold. Shit, that's annoying. Uh, okay, take the loan for a start. Uh, let's try some alchemy. Oh, God, we can't, really? Oh, God, we can't for another... We can't until tomorrow. That's ridiculous. Um, sure. You know what? We need, obviously, you know, to be out of the negative here for our troops' morale. We're going to have to borrow some more money here. Shit, we can't borrow enough. Oh, that's pretty bad. I'm sure we'll be fine, though, because, you know, we've got 10,000 men, and it's led by three very, very powerful individuals. All right, it shouldn't take any time at all to siege, I would imagine. Why can't we... Oh, right, because we're moving the provinces, idiot. Okay. Another 10 days, that's fine. While we wait for all those 10 days, we should hopefully have our gold back by then. Jesus, plus oh, 229 a month, not including retinue upkeep. That's crazy. I assume it's only retinue upkeep. Um, expensive. Yes, yeah, so we've got levy upkeep, retinue upkeep, mercenaries. Um, your guess is as good as mine with that one, especially with the levy upkeep as well. It updates every month, so maybe it's just we still had some troops from last month ticking over there. I don't think we've got any mercenaries raised. I don't know why it's telling us we've got that. Okay, well, here's their army. That's dangerous. Focus on the center. Um, now, we're leading the flank right now, so do we want organizer? Movement speed, leading the center, unyielding, I think would probably be best. Let's go for that one. Awesome. 91%. I assume once we see just down, will of one in that case. Oh, he became incapable. Did we knock him on the head during battle? Oh, he got scurvy. He was on those boats for like five seconds and got scurvy. You poor man. Right. Sacrifices to Odin? Done. Oh, we actually sacrificed him to Odin. Well, it's almost like that's what that button does. Awesome. Right. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that one. Now, unfortunately... Because we didn't have clients on these last two, he is now a vassal of ours. So why don't we try and uh, kill him off there. 200% plot power. Just because he's going to cause us a lot of issues otherwise. Shouldn't take too long at all. Now that should give us another holy site, right? Uh, we need to create a new vassal, I assume, for it. Oh, no. He's still Catholic. He is a werewolf, though. So he's, he's halfway to being uh, what we want him to be. Right, let's get these troops back over to Finland and carry on our wars over there. So it might be next episode then. I think by next episode we should have enough moral authority here to uh, reform the faith. So we need 50. So with three holy sites. And if we actually manage to get these three over to being our holy sites, that'll increase it by another 15%. A couple of holy wars. I think we've got it. I don't think we'll even need to attack the HRE. That'd be awesome. Right. Let's get you guys over to Finland. I try to take this whole sort of Nordic peninsula here. And try and clean up our borders as well. Seeing as Kola have that uh, pretty annoying chunk of our land there. I don't know why. Maybe they're... Maybe we could maybe offer them vassalization. They won't say yes because they are Catholic, but... No. Definitely not. Right, that's fine then. Let's get our troops over there. We could always go for the UK as well. That would help bolster up our troops. UK would be pretty easy to invade at this point, I think. Just because the Aztecs have mostly event spawn troops. And seeing as they've lost all of those... Holy shit, 117,000 from vassals. 
Hmm. So the longer we leave it with the Aztecs, the stronger they're going to become because eventually their vassals are going to be replaced by Aztec vassals, you know, converting the religion and things like that. Take a look. They've actually done some conversion already. So the more of their vassals that become, you know, Aztec, Aztecs, or Na Nahua, is that, um, the stronger they're going to be because obviously they'll have more opinion of the Emperor and his troops will increase. Yeah, we should just keep an eye on that guy. My co-conspirator, Godi Mantivas, Man Mantividas of Lowry, has let me know that Thrain, blah, 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 the guy we were trying to kill is about to die. Good. Awesome. Right. Come on, please work. We'll inherit all his land and we'll give the whole duchy away to somebody in that case. Because this is all one big duchy. There we go. Awesome. We inherited both of those? Yep. Good. Awesome. Right. Let's take a look here. Uh, who have we got? We've got this dude here. Um, who's got the most stewardship? Really nobody. But then I need to work on these loans pretty immediately. Uh, it's my new steward. He's really good. Mind is touched. Herbalist. 18 stewardship. Thank you very much. All right, Grant landed title. And you can have the whole of Iceland, because I'm feeling generous. I'd really like to do, like, a tall Iceland game. Maybe it's dragons or something. That'd be pretty fun. All right. Sweet. Well, that's a decent amount of progress. Thank you for watching. I'm going to cut this episode here, because, you know, I'm not feeling great today. You might notice that during the video. Uh, but, Yeah. That's what you get for deleting content, I guess. Next episode, we'll do the house giveaway. Obviously, I'll have the results of that, and I'm still leaving it. You know, I said I'd give it a day so that everybody had a chance to get their results, and I will check that later on today and edit those houses into the game and announce the winners tomorrow. See you then.